Now the tragedy of Jeremiah Brogdon, the Mervo High School football player who was shot and killed on school grounds has sparked a, a need for some immediate change, but the school needs your help. WMER 2 News Nordea Lewis tells us about new community initiative that could save lives. Nordea, so how does this work? Yeah, well, it's pretty simple. Mervo leaders are asking volunteers to be a part of a community watch to keep a close eye on students coming to and from school. A minimum of 60 participants are needed to begin the community watch. Members won't engage with the students or put themselves in danger. Instead, participants are asked to blend in, whether it's driving around the building, walking their dog, or sitting on their front porch during school hours. Volunteers will be trained on what to look out for and will be provided a special number to call if they see something strange. And they're not full time. That's why we need that amount, um, according to our trainer, um, in order to really cover the bases so, and have flex time. So sometimes it's before school. So if you're going to work, you have like an hour, you know, it might be after school. And it's as simple as just having an eye and calling a number. Volunteers can choose what shift works best for them. School officials only ask you remain consistent. I mean, anything that's going to help the children, I would want to be a part of. Anything that's going to help the community, I would want to be a part of. Nicole Barbara has lived near Mervo for years. She mourns every time there's an incident at the school. We should all look out for one another, pray for one another, because we're all connected in one way or another. You know, we can't just educate and pray for our own children. Others agree the community watch can be a great thing. Parents like Amadi Torbit hopes children will understand violence is never the answer. Just try to stay in school, stay out of trouble, and just just keep a, keep a good frame of mind because it's, it's easy to get in trouble, but it's hard to get out of trouble. So I think the community watch would help out a lot. And it's really about you know Mervo healing again, and a part of that healing process is putting forth. Um, really just a strategy that will make students and even staff feel safer. If you want to be a part of the Community Watch, there's a link to the application on our website, WMAR2news.com.